Sam and Griggs, it's a third consecutive win and our third time on the Premier Sport cameras to take us third. All good things coming through, don't they? <laughs> ah, you've done well there, uh, Mike, well done. Um, yeah, I thought we did it. We played really well. Um, showed some real character and togetherness, which is always nice to see. And you know, going to some them dark places, they pay off later on in the season. You know, you can repeat it. So maybe that's you know the performance at Barrow that that brought that out of us there. So that's nice to see we've got that in, in an abundance as well. Um, and yeah, and in the grand scheme, it's a pretty good win. Um, but yeah, as always, not not to bring it down, but we'll just move on to the next one. There was some really good stuff tonight, but. You know the coaching man. When I look at it, there'll be some stuff where I think we could have been quite a bit more clinical as well, um, which would have been even more telling on the scoreboard, I suppose. But yeah, we handled a lot, a lot tonight. Um, did well. A good period of defence on our own line, which was the biggest, the biggest pleasing please point for me. So yeah, we had about seven sets on our own line, about ten minutes without the ball. Um, we spoke a lot in these interviews about the character of the sides shown, um, how pleased it's to go through those kind of dark places and then being able to score all the tries to win the game off the back of it. Yeah, obviously, very pleasing. That's that's the obvious answer. But I think sometimes you might get six or seven sets in, and if they score, it's oh well, we did seven. Um, it, it's it's tough to keep turning up, and and they did. So a lot of credit to each of them. I know obviously Keys gets the man of the match, but I think across the board there's some unreal performances. Brandon Moore, 80 minutes, captain's knock again. Um, Overlooked because he didn't get the ball over the whitewash this week, but. Yeah, there were a lot of good stuff and we did score some pleasing tries, I thought. We did our own work well, not patting myself on back there, but you know, we had a good look at them and we knew where well we felt we could we could expose some some space and, and get our speed men into the right areas. <clears throat> After the middles did some really good work. So on the whole, it's good performance. Uh, you, you know, look back to Dewsbury and straight after the game I'm my questions are well, basically a statement really saying, I'm out as I'm not bothered this week because you've just done what you wanted. You know, whereas tonight We've all bought into a plan this week and, and they've gone out and executed it really well. Is it encouraging as well getting towards the end of the season where there isn't necessarily an obvious man of the match, an obvious like one person who's done it? It is a team effort going on. Yeah, it definitely shows we're in decent form, we're in sync, singing from the same hymn sheet. Um, you know, now the thing is we've got a couple of bands to you know to deal with, um, a couple of knocks to deal with. Um, and keeping everyone healthy and in a competitive state, if you know what I mean, in the sense of we don't want to get down to just having 18 and having the team pick itself. We want enough numbers to keep everybody on the toes and ready to go. So, um, yeah, there's a long way to go yet. I think I may have agreed with Premier Sports tonight when they mentioned it's a big game, but I think everyone else made it a big game. I think for us, we just got on this week and done our job focused on us. We looked at some bits from York, as I said, which, which paid dividends, but I think we're, you know, we're in a good place at the minute. It won't last forever, um, and that's when we need to have done enough um, to drag ourselves through some tough periods. It's the same in any 80 minutes. Each team will have a say at some point. You've just got to be good enough to bat them away. And we're in there, so. Lots of eyes on us tonight, obviously on Premier Sports the last couple of weeks, and two really impressive performances. Is it kind of getting to the lads about the, the underdog spirit that we've kind of shown throughout the season, maybe, or because obviously, the more eyes that are on us, we can come from favourites. Is it an, an attitude shift kind of thing? No, nah, I think the underdog stuff, I don't think it's a thing of the past. I think that can happen week to week, depending on who you're playing, what form you're in, you're in and whatnot. But I think the lads are, I think they're dealing with being the favourites a lot better than they have done in the past. Um, you know, I won't be as disrespectful to, to suggest where everybody's cup final, but that's an old saying that um, people like to come and beat us, in particular when you're sitting at the table, everyone wants to come and pick you off. And I think we're dealing with that well. We're still managing to, you know, to perform and not let that, you know, I suppose a different kind of pressure get to us, which is good and it holds in good stead. Um, should we continue and make sure we secure playoffs and hopefully all the rest of the good stuff that come with that. And finally, can you tell us your thoughts when uh, Kevin Leroy decided not to pass the ball with a, <laughs> an overlap for the try that could have? Seal the game a lot earlier than it would have been. Uh, I don't think there was much thinking, more just sheer disbelief that he'd not done something he's probably done a thousand times. Just a two v one, isn't it? Two v one. You should win it every time. It should be the offensive team that wins. But I get it. There's some of that where we're trying to stay at the right end of the field. We didn't necessarily need to score again. So in Kev's mind, if he felt like that were a chance, he probably did the right thing. You know, sorry, sorry if it was a risk. He probably did the right thing and just 
getting the next one and sticking with what our sort of mantra and mentality has been of getting them on the next try. Getting them on the next play, sorry. And we saw a real loud and boisterous South stand tonight. How important is it for the fans to, to pat themselves in and also cheer the lads on? Yeah, they deserve a pat on the back tonight. I thought it was really good, particularly in that period of defence. Really nice and loud. Um, I've definitely mentioned uh, in other interviews, I'm not sure if we've said it between us, but I think you go back to the Covid time when we were playing and there they they were no fans. I felt like while watching football, watching rugby, whichever sport it were, in those moments of need where you needed an extra little nudge, um, I think fans can bring it out here a little bit. Be your 18th man if you like, to, to use a, a cheesy phrase, but um, yeah, I think the I don't know, when you're about to switch off maybe that little that little nudge behind you does help and obviously none of them none of us um, dislike applause and, and approval, do we? So it's nice every time they turn them away, they got a good cheer and it weren't only that period, I thought they were great all night. Um, good bit of bantering amongst it as well for some of the art lads which were nice. Um, but yeah, on the whole they've been very good all year. I just thought hopefully we can keep them coming and keep performing to a level that, that they're interested in seeing and, and cheering for.